bruh. Hey, what's up guys? It's old Metalhead Mike here, coming at you from Covington, Georgia here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I know it's been a while since I put in a video here. For that, I do apologize. It's been a lot of stuff going on. I'll get to that at a later point, a later video to explain. But today I want to go ahead and do a book review, of all things. A book written by my friend and soon-to-be-renowned, hopefully, um, bizarro fiction author David W. Barbie, the book called Bacon Fried Bastard. I'm trying to get, angle it so that you can actually see the cover without the, re the, re the glare from the reflection on it. Okay. Judging by the book, uh, the book by the cover, yeah, you can definitely say that uh, this is definitely bizarro fiction. Couple things I want to go over first with it uh, before we get into some of the nitty gritty details here is that this is not a book for kids, and that this is not a good guy book. Okay, um, just go with it though, you know, because there's going to be some aspects of this this world in the book there that's going to be you're going to be like what, what, how. Just roll with it. Just go with it. Just suspend disbelief for a while. The laws of physics works just a little bit differently. Um, and I'll explain at one point uh, just some of the, the really weird stuff that this guy has come up with here. It's a great book, though. Um, it's actually kind of short. Um, the pros, first off. Very good detailing. The... Um, that the pacing of the story is really good, um, the character development, it, it's kind of, you know, not quite as much as you would expect, but at the same time, it's not overloaded either. J again, just go with it. You know, you're actually probably, you know, probably, actually probably, eh, you're probably not going to want to skip forward at all because there's, you know, there's a lot of stuff in it for a book of its size. Um, the only real downside to it is that to me it was just wasn't long enough. I mean, it could have, you know, doubled, doubled the length of the story, um, and I still would have been, in, you know, thoroughly enjoying it. Basically, what you've got is. This guy right here, Piggly Swiggly, of all names. Great creative names, David. Beautiful. Gotta love that one. Um, he's a drunk. He's a perpetual drunk. He has to be drunk. Because while he's drunk, he's this guy. When he's not, he's a normal, bad human. <laughs> but um, he wakes up at just outside of a, of a city and uh, he gets into the city trying to figure out what the heck he's doing where he's at and he finds out there's prohibition going on so that's an immediate challenge for the poor guy to have to worry about trying to figure out where the hell is he gonna get another drink to maintain that drunk to keep him in that particular form next thing here and this is one of those the hell were you smoking, David? Moments was um, when you find out that bacon and pork is more addictive than methamphetamines in this world. You can imagine the merry hell when he goes walking into this city and sees people looking at him with that look of, look at all that Bacon. You're doing one of those. Again, it's a short, sweet book. Um, very good writing, very good pacing. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend it here, but it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's not for kids, despite what you might think about, you know, the appearance of the cover. You know, at first glance, it's like, oh, 
look, it's a pig man on a cover. Oh, it's going to be a family-friendly kind of book. Nope. It is not. It is not family-friendly at all. Um, but definitely, definitely give this a book. Uh, give this book a read. Um, you won't be disappointed with it. Uh, again, just let it go. Just enjoy the bizarre fiction. Just the, the weird stuff in there like croco dirigibles. Crocodiles being used as blimps. Yeah. Blimp. Blimps. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, definitely, David lives up to his his reputation now of being an excellent bizarro fiction writer. He's written several other books. Um, definitely, uh, definitely uh, a lot of fun here. I'm actually trying to find um, a listing of some of the other uh, other books that he's written. I'm sure. I I know I haven't found it. I know it's in here somewhere. But, um, yeah, definitely, definitely recommend it. Oh, yeah, there we go. His card that he thoughtfully included with uh, with the book when he sent it to me. Again, David, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, he's also written books, great names, too. you got to love them. Uh, Bacon Fried Bastard, which is his, rec his most recent. The Knight's Neon Fangs, Thunder Pussy, and this is definitely a real winner here. A town called Suckhole, and I'm sure quite a few feet, quite a few folks are thinking, "Hey, that actually sounds like home." But uh, definitely, definitely recommend the book to you folks. Uh, read up on it, get the book. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, you can even uh, contact uh, the author directly. Great guy. I've known him for uh, quite a few years now. Fantastic guy. Real, real cool. Um, and on that note, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it here. Peace and long life. You guys are the best. Don't let anyone ever tell you differently. And I will see you guys in the next video or on the road somewhere down out there. Take care.